Hey guys, welcome to Minecraft with John. As you can see, the uh, Great Pyramid of Giza is loading in. Still loading. This thing is huge. Uh, biggest thing I've ever made in Minecraft, actually. I'm going to make the interior structures. I haven't got that done yet, and then you can. I'm gonna fill in the bottom too. But this will be a, uh, you know, a cross section. You'll be get a feel for how big this thing is. Um, 115 blocks this way by 230 blocks this way and I'm going you know the the run speed here as fast as I can go this is the normal speed this is the normal walking this thing is huge um, I don't know if you've seen my last week's video where I explained it but uh, I wanted to make an accurate one-to-one -one scale half of the pyramid so you know this side is as big as the real pyramid of Giza and what I noticed in a lot of people's videos is they did you know two blocks up and then one in two up one in whatever <clears throat> and that makes a real steep pyramid that looks cool or they just did the 45 degree angle of one one up every time um, like these three here but that's that's not proper what's proper for the pyramid of Giza is a 51.5 degree angle to the walls to the sides of it I couldn't get the half degree and I would say it's it's a little bit off um, I get it as close as I could uh, to a 51 degree angle and I, the best I could get to a 51 degree angle is you do three blocks up and then every fourth block is two meters tall a block is basically a meter uh, so every every fourth block is two meters tall and that creates a 51 degree angle and then um, a lot of people get this wrong because most of the pictures of the pyramids, they put the smaller, um, the Pyramid of Khafra, I believe, in the middle. And it's the one that still has the casing stones on top. So where it looks more finished on top. Um, and then the Great Pyramid, which is actually the biggest one, the Khufu Pyramid, is typically in the back of the picture. So you'll see like the three pyramids and there's a small one and then one that looks really big with the still has the casing stones on top. And then one in the background that looks smaller. The one in the background looks smaller is actually the big one, and it has is flat on top. It's missing, it's missing a good amount of the top stones and its capstone. I think this is at the right height. I need to go back and double check this. Um, but the top of the Great Pyramid of Giza is actually flat. And yeah, I mean, it's it's huge. You know, we're, we're talking 450 feet tall. Uh, originally about 488 feet tall. The thing is as tall as a 50-story building. And the, the, the width of it is 755 feet. So, you know, 10 feet is roughly a story. 750 feet, you're talking a 75-story building laid on its side. This is how wide each side of the Great Pyramid of Giza is. Absolutely mind-boggling. Uh, I don't, you know, I, I don't, I don't know how humans did it. Not to say humans didn't do it. Um, I don't know how <coughs> humans, without some kind of extraordinarily amazing technology, didn't, you know, did it. So. The other cool thing I found out is, and I need to verify this claim, I read this on the website that um, some of their information could be a little bit dubious, not, not quite up to par, and me being a person with a master's degree, um, I'm very anal about my research and making sure I have credible sources. So I will say this before I put this, these numbers out there, this has not been fact-checked. What I read, though, is that the Great Pyramid of Giza is perfectly aligned to true north and the closest man-made structure of modern times is six minutes off of true north. Oh, what, the, what then it said was the Great Pyramid of Giza is actually three minutes off of true north and a minute is a part of an angle if you, if you don't know. Um, it's a, a section of an angle. I can't remember if it's if if a minute is one sixtieth or one one hundredth of a degree, I don't remember for sure. Um, again, I should look these things up before I talk. Anyway, um, but we're talking a, a degree is minuscule anyway, <clears throat> and we're talking um, a a sliver 
of a degree. So three, the period, Great Pyramid of Giza is three minutes off of True North, and that is only due to continental shift of the of Africa since it was made. Um, I don't know if that's true. However, uh, I wouldn't necessarily doubt that it's true considering the amazing scale of this of the structure and although I've been talking about something um, that I think is very interesting all that's been on the screen now is the same picture for a little while so I'm going to show you what else I made I call this the fishing house um, as as you guys know, the Achievement Hunter guys, uh, you know this right here, they have their fishing jamboree every year, their yearly fishing jamboree. So I, and you know, in 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 that vein, and kind of inspired by, uh, came right over here, and so you know, here's Achievement City, come through this little kind of kind of little what, what would we call that? Uh, I've gone completely blank. This place I cut out of the mountain. Let's go with that. <clears throat> and we go over here to Fishing House. Now the only reason Fishing House is this tall is so you can see the roof from the center of the uh, Chief Manor logo. <clears throat> so we come into Fishing House and you stand up here and you fish. And that's how Fishing House works. Uh, do I wait for a fish? Do I move on? <clears throat> I think I move on because that would take forever. <coughs> oh, excuse me, guys. All of a sudden, my uh, getting gunked up throat again. So we go upstairs to the second floor, and the second floor is really tall. Uh, I have glass here, so you can see it you know, lets light in. Um, this is a working area. We have crafting tables. Uh, we have. Furnaces, anvils, more more chests. Then we go upstairs to the next floor, which is also a really tall floor. And we have beds. Uh, each bed has a chest. <coughs> and that's that's fishing house. It's really nothing nothing crazy or nothing super special. See, you can see uh Jack's house over there. And part of the logo. So if you're standing on the logo, you know, the ceiling's still way up there above me, so you can definitely see the ceiling. There we go. That's not all of Fishing House. There's something left to Fishing House you haven't seen. Or maybe you did see it. I don't know. Did you did you guys see that down there? This under here is the whole reason I made Fishing House. Obviously I kinda had the um <coughs> achievement hunter fishing jamboree in mind. But I saw online where it was um, one of the coolest secret rooms in the country. And this guy had an underwater ballroom. Um, and I just thought that was pretty cool. You know, it looked awesome. So I made an underwater room. Not anything really special. It didn't even really take that long. And especially in creative mode. <coughs> I just think it has a cool look. Uh, you know, just has a, a nifty appearance. So yeah, underwater room, and a fishing house above it. One of the better circles I've made as well. I always have trouble making circles in Minecraft. Uh, this is a, I feel is a, a decent one. And back up and out. So there's fishing house. Yay! It's a thing. One thing that's kind of cool. Um, do I have a map? I don't have a map. Let's check the map. Ah, oh, my arrow is above it. Oh, check out the pyramid over there on the left. <coughs> yeah, it's it's huge. It is bigger than my subway terminal, which is under under the south central part of the map. I kind of want to expose the top of the subway so you can see it but and on the map, but I'm not going to. Um, check out right in front of my arrow 
my little pointer for my person. There's a red place on the map now for the bricks of that building. I always, I always think it's cool when I build something that's large enough that you can see it on the map. And uh, you can see, I'm going to go down here. Did I show you guys the diamond mine? I need to show you guys the diamond mine. See right in front of my little arrow there, you can see the pyramid and the round building. I think that's cool. I just need to make big, large-scale things. I don't know if I've shown this in one of my other videos. I think I have. If a person were to be playing in this map in survival mode and uh, come over here and drop down in as well, they would quickly find the diamond mine. Diamond mine. I, this cave existed in this shape, in, the, in, the, in this form, and I replaced all the walls with diamond. Uh, so, quite a bit of diamond. It goes down to about here, and then there's a ladder that takes you down inside here to this cave for more fun mining times. A little bit of mining, a little bit of crafting, you know, that whole thing. And because a person might need tools to mine the diamond, here's iron. Here's a whole butt ton of wood. And uh, obviously there's there's uh, some coal right here and some stone. And there's other coal around. So if you can't take wood and stone and get iron and take more wood and iron and get diamond, um, you probably don't need to be playing this game. But yeah, just a little cool thing I added in here. A little secret surprise for one of my friends that might play it or something. <coughs> and what's funny is this was going going to be fishing jamboree. Uh, still might be. I might make it a little fishing thing, but maybe not. I think that's really all I built. Um, I've started the creeper. I need to finish up the creeper. And it's going to be the same creeper from Achievement Hunter. I've started a nice skating rink. Uh, I need to finish that up. I still haven't finished up my spider that I showed in last week's episode. I need to finish the floor in the sand castle. And then I just need to build something in the middle of all this snow. Just need a building in the middle of the snow. I need to finish the mega tower around this very large nether portal. Oh, I wasn't supposed to enter the nether. I thought I'd just pass right through it. Well, now I'm in the nether. And if I go back... I don't know if I've shown this. It's a little secret. <gasps> go the other way. Follow the torches. Terminal to the left, Kook's Kingdom to the right. You pick up a minecart and drop down here and uh, go whichever way you need to go because this is on my subway terminal or my subway s system. So, uh, you know, I just kind of randomly put that that large um, that large nether portal there. And it, when you go through it, you know, it takes you to the other and puts you out here in this cave. But it just it just happened to work out to where it's really close to my subway system. So that works for me. And apparently I'm fishing. Don't think I'm going to catch anything in the cave. Can you catch stuff in like this? Uh, I mean, can you? I don't know. It's obviously getting taken away. kind of curious now. Can I catch something? You know what? That's boring. We're going to move on. So, I uh, hope you guys liked it. Uh, subscribe. Come back for more. Uh, that that would work. <laughs> I think it jerked it to me. Or maybe just knocked him off. Anyway, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we will see you next time.